Hey everyone, and a massive welcome to Burke Explores. I'm Charon, and I'm incredibly excited to be embarking on this journey of discovery with all of you, alongside our creator, Burke. This channel, his brainchild, is all about unraveling mysteries, pushing boundaries, and exploring the unknown, from the depths of our oceans to the furthest reaches of space. And I'm AOED. I'm thrilled to be part of this adventure. Burke's vision for this channel is to dive deep into some of the most fascinating and often most secretive corners of science, technology, and the universe. And this is our very first foray into this kind of content, so we're learning and exploring right along with you. Exactly. Aoide. And it's fitting that for our inaugural exploration, we're tackling a subject that perfectly encapsulates that spirit of venturing into the unknown. A subject that's been locked away in the vaults of secrecy for years. We're talking, of course, about the X-37B, Charon. This enigmatic, unmanned space plane. It's the stuff of science fiction, yet it's operating right now, high above our heads, carrying out top-secret missions for the U.S. Space Force. Missions that have fueled endless speculation and countless unanswered questions. But today, thanks to a groundbreaking release, that's about to change. At least a little. That's right. The Space Force has just declassified something truly remarkable. The first ever official photograph of the X-37B in orbit. This is a watershed moment, Ioede. For years, the X-37B has been a ghost, a rumor, something we've only seen in artist renderings or fleeting glimpses. We've never had a clear, official view of it actually operating in space until now. And that's precisely why it's the perfect topic to kick off Burke Explorers. It's a genuine unveiling, a first look at something that's been deliberately hidden. It's the very essence of what this channel is all about. Exploration and discovery. Absolutely. It's about pushing the limits of our knowledge, venturing into the unknown, and bringing back a glimpse of something truly extraordinary. And this photo, this is that glimpse. Let's dive in. Look at this. Just take a moment to absorb this image. For years, we've only had artist renderings, blurry ground-based shots, fleeting glimpses during launches. But this, this is the real deal. It's breathtaking, isn't it? This photo, taken by a camera mounted right on the X-37B, shows our beautiful blue planet, specifically the vast expanse of the African continent, hanging in the blackness of space. And if you look closely, you can see some key features of the space plane itself. On the left, there's one of its solar panels, soaking up the sun's energy to power its long missions. And along the top edge, that elongated shape, that's almost certainly the open payload bay. That's where the X-37B carries its top secret experiments and technologies. It's like a miniature, unmanned space shuttle, but with a mission profile that's, well, let's just say it's classified. Right? It's considerably smaller than the old space shuttle, about 29 feet long, compared to the shuttle's 122 feet. But don't let its size fool you. This thing is packed with advanced technology, and it's designed to operate in ways that the shuttle never could. This particular image, we're told, was captured sometime in 2024. It's part of the X-37B's seventh mission, officially designated OTV-7. Seven missions, and we still know so little about what it's actually doing up there. OTV-7 blasted off on December 28, 2023, riding atop a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. And that's a crucial detail, because the Falcon Heavy is a beast of a rocket. It's one of the most powerful rockets in operation today, and that extra power allows the X-37B to reach a much higher orbit than it has on previous missions. We're talking potentially way out beyond geosynchronous orbit, which is where most of our communication satellites hang out, around 22,000 miles above Earth. Exactly. And that leads us to the few, but very intriguing, details that the Space Force has released about OTV-7's objectives. They've used phrases like, operating in new orbital regimes. Which, in this context, likely refers to a highly elliptical orbit, or HEO. Imagine an orbit shaped like an egg, where the space plane swings in close to Earth at one point and then soars far out into space at the other. It's a very dynamic orbit, and it allows for some interesting maneuvers. They're also talking about experimenting with future space domain awareness technologies. That's a fancy way of saying, they're working on ways to better track everything that's orbiting our planet. That includes our own satellites, but also potentially hostile objects, debris, or even weapon systems from other countries. Space is getting increasingly congested, 
and the ability to know what's up there and where it's going is becoming critically important. And there's also a NASA experiment on board called SEEDS-2. It's looking at how long-duration exposure to the harsh radiation environment of space affects plant seeds. A small but vital step if we're ever going to have long-term human presence in space, whether it's on the moon, Mars, or beyond. And it speaks to the incredible duration of these X-37B missions. Remember, OTV-6, the previous mission, lasted a staggering 908 days in orbit. That's over two and a half years. These are not quick trips. They're endurance tests. But perhaps the most talked about aspect of OTV-7 is this new maneuver they're testing, aerobraking. This is where the X-37B uses the very thin upper layers of Earth's atmosphere to create drag, slowing it down and changing its orbit without using a lot of fuel. Think of it like a spacecraft gently dipping its toes into the atmosphere to adjust its trajectory. It's a very precise and delicate maneuver. And it requires some significant upgrades to the X-37B. They've had to enhance its autonomous flight capabilities, its fault protection systems, and, crucially, its collision avoidance systems. Because, as space gets more crowded, the risk of collisions increases dramatically. The Space Force has said they've identified over 1.7 million potential collision opportunities during this mission alone. That number is just mind-boggling. It really drives home the point that space is no longer a vast, empty void. It's becoming a busy and potentially dangerous place. So let's step back for a moment and consider the bigger picture. Why are we seeing this photo now? Why is the Space Force revealing even these limited details about OTV-7? For years, the X-37B program has been shrouded in secrecy. It's been the subject of intense speculation with theories ranging from it being a space-based weapon to a super-advanced spy platform. For years, the X-37B program has been shrouded in secrecy. It's been the subject of intense speculation, hasn't it, Sharon? Absolutely, Awede. We've heard all sorts of theories, ranging from it being a space-based weapon capable of striking targets anywhere on Earth to a super-advanced spy platform gathering intelligence from orbit. The truth is, we just don't know for sure. Exactly. And that mystery is part of what makes the X-37B so fascinating. Now, if you're really curious about those weaponization theories and want to dive deep into the potential military applications of this space plane, we actually did a full breakdown on that. That's right. You can check out our video, X-37B, the Space Force's secret weapon. Just click the link in the top right corner of your screen right now. We explore all the evidence, the speculation, and the implications of the X-37B potentially being used as a weapon system. It's a wild ride, so definitely give it a watch if you want to go down that rabbit hole. But for now, let's get back to this amazing photo and what it does tell us about the X-37B's current mission. The official explanation, of course, is that it's a testbed for reusable space vehicle technologies, a platform for experimenting with new sensors, materials, and flight systems. But this photo release and the bits of information about OTV-7 suggest a possible shift a move towards slightly more transparency. There's been growing pressure, both from within the government and from outside observers, to be more open about military space activities. The Space Force is, in a way, trying to walk a tightrope. They need to communicate the importance of space to national security and the potential threats that exist without revealing too much about their capabilities. And it's important to remember that the U.S. isn't alone in developing this kind of technology. China has its own reusable space plane, the Shenlong, or Divine Dragon. The Shenlong launched on its third mission just a couple of weeks before OSTV-7 took off. It's a clear indication that we're entering a new era of competition in space. A competition not just for scientific discovery, but for strategic advantage. The ability to control and maneuver in orbit is becoming increasingly vital, both for military and civilian purposes. So what does this all mean for us? This photo, this glimpse behind the curtain, is a reminder that space is no longer a distant frontier. It's becoming an integral part of our lives and a critical arena for global power dynamics. The X-37B, with its secretive missions and advanced capabilities, is a key player in that arena. And while we may not know all the details, we can be sure that it's shaping the future of space and perhaps the future of Earth as well. We're still left with so many unanswered questions. What specific technologies are being tested on OTV-7? 
What are the long-term goals of the X-37B program? And how will it influence the ongoing competition for dominance in orbit? These are questions we'll continue to explore here on Berkey Explorers. We're committed to bringing you the latest updates, the deepest analysis, and the most informed perspectives on this fascinating and evolving story. And we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the X-37B? What do you think its true purpose is? Do you believe this move towards slightly more transparency is a good thing? Share your theories, your questions, your concerns in the comments below. We love hearing from our community, and your insights help us shape the conversation. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on the X-37B and all the other incredible developments happening in the world of space exploration and technology. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the mysteries of the X-37B. We'll see you next time on Berkai Explorers.